Good morning, Senor Mitchell. Are you coming to watch the procession? I don't think so. I must finish my letter. May I join you later? See, si, Anna. About 11 o'clock yesterday, I telephoned you at once. Hmm. Why have you not asked, Contessa? Asked what, senor? Why the police have not been involved? It had crossed my mind. At 12 o'clock, I received a phone call telling me my daughter had been kidnapped. The problem is... The problem is... Anna was taken by my son. You'll need the key. Santos, he says he must speak to you. Now you listen to me, David. Yes. Yes, but wait. Hello. Hello. You want someone to meet him tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock? What about Anna? That's all he said. Have you any idea why he's done this? No, no. He probably doesn't even know himself. Tell me something. What happens to children these days? Do you know him? Well, he's my son.
prosperity, Povovo. Contessa di Contini arrived Madrid Airport on flight 068 from Rome. You are well informed. We are. We? You will be required to supply explosives. Explosives? And someone who knows how to handle them. Plus $10,000 and some information. And Anna? She will be released if you keep your side of the bargain. What if I don't agree? That would be a mistake. I'll consider what you have said. Contessa, if you think that I value human life, you are right. If you think that I hate and detest violence in any form, you are right. But if you think I will let anything or anybody stand in my way, you are wrong. He has a price, a ransom. How much? It isn't only money. <laughs> What else does he want? Explosives. My God. Why? I don't know. He has gone too far. He must be stopped. What do you intend to do? You ask for my help. You must respect my professional judgment. And my discretion. <laughs> It's a dangerous situation. How are his parents taking it? Oh, Mitchell was angry and confused at first. Now he's just shocked. De Santos is deeply concerned about his daughter. What's your assessment of David? Sincere, intelligent, very intense. Convinced that whatever he's doing, he's right. Hmm. Motivation? Hmm. Probably political. I'd say he was a man with a cause, an idealist. I'd say you were right. It is a dangerous situation. Hello. Contessa, tell your men to meet me at the Huevas tonight. Waiting for someone. You the buyer? 
What's wrong? <laughs> I said, what's wrong? Nothing's wrong, boy, nothing. I'm not a boy. What's the matter? Didn't like your college studies? You wanted to get a little action? You got the money? You do the job. You'll get your money. Anymore. What are you today? The revolutionary, the general, the party. Anna. We were both born into privilege and money. Part of the gnawing, consuming, sick capitalist monster. And you ask me why? Yes, David. Tell me why. Explain. It's the world, Anna. The system. The system? It has to be changed, the whole rotten, stinking mess. What are you going to do? Key question. The end justifies the means. we can really do something of significance. Like blow up the White House? Yes. Or any other citadel of the establishment. Well, if the money's right, give me a call. How long have you known the Contessa di Contini? Uh, we've done business before. Clever woman, but don't trust her. I don't have to. We still have Anna. Yeah, I'll get my stuff together. Now, how about uh, a cash bonus up front, kind of inspiration? If we didn't need you. writer arrives in Spain tomorrow. The American special envoy. Yes, he's here for four days on a fact-finding tour. Uh, what has all this got to do with David? He wants to know the time when Tresen writer will be driving over the bridge at Diaganda. I don't understand. He thinks you are men of influence, and you'll be able to find out. Well, yes, I suppose we could. Why does David want to know? He wants to destroy the bridge. And Tresen writer.
11 o'clock Friday morning. Can you do it? Yeah, that's what you want. That's what I want, because it has to be done. Well, we've done everything he asked. And my daughter? I think David will keep his word. He needs help. They took the money and split. No. No, they're my friends, my comrades. Juan and Carlos? What do you know about them? Their background? What do you mean? When you were a kid, did you ever go hungry? Run around the street without shoes? They did. Is it my fault I didn't? I despise money! Oh, well, that's easy to say when you got it. Forget about it, kid. It's all over. No. We do it. Look, you don't need the gun. I'm for sale. You bought me. That's the capitalist way. Fifteen minutes. Will that be enough? Yeah. Did you ever see a guy blown to pieces? Shut up. It's messy. I told you to shut up. Who else is going to be in the car? Why should you care? I don't. How about you? Well, that's right. You said earlier the end justifies the means. Is that it? No, I despise you. <laughs> well, that's because I'm despicable. Killing means nothing to you, does it? It's a dog-eat-dog -dog world. You got to get the other guy before he gets you. It needn't be. And you're going to change it, huh? It has to be changed. And your method is killing, violence, and destruction. You think I haven't thought about it? Considered every possibility. Screwed up my guts to try and find an alternative. 
Oh, no. It's the only way. And when you've blown the establishment to pieces, what are you going to replace it with? People. People with a sense of social justice. People who care. When enough people care, there's another way. Which is? Democracy. Just push the button mark BTR. It stands for Bloody Terminal Revolution. Your move. Oh, no. You stay. Listen to me. Intended to go through with it? Oh, yeah. Why? It's called the generation gap. Hmm. I think somebody should try and build a bridge. In the 